Hello everyone, welcome to my first ever Cinema 40 R12 tutorial. Now something I did not mention in my last tutorial was that I want you guys to pause the video and let it buffer for a minute or so. So if you guys have like a laggy internet and it buffers and like I notice when I watch tutorials when I buffers I really don't get the best learning experience. I really don't have fun with that tutorial and it just really I don't remember anything from that tutorial because I'm sitting here waiting for the rest of the video to buffer so I can learn but anyways guys I really want you to pause the video if you have a lagging internet such as mine um to get the best learning experience out of all the videos that you watch you can do that with any tutorial um it just really turns out for the best anyways guys I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the tutorial what I'm going to be showing you how to do today is a particle effect onto your text and poly effects. Um, go ahead and go ahead and add a mo text. Now, usually in any of my tutorials, I already had the mo text pre-made, but we need to add some minor adjustments to the text to get the best particle effect onto the text. It really divides the amateurs from the pros. Go to object and change the depth to 75. Change the subdivision to 12. Change the font to Russian. Now, if you don't have this text already on your like little dialogue, you can go ahead and go to the description and download it from duffon.com. Really helpful site for fonts. Change the alignment to the middle. Change the text to Russ. Well, you guys can change it to whatever you would like. I'm just going to change it to my name. Change the intermediate points to subdivided. Go to caps. Now, I really want a rounded effect to the text. You guys can have a step. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and change the start and end cap to fill a cap. Change the steps to 3 and the radius to 4 on both the start and end of the text. Change the type to quadrangles and check rug regular grid and change the width to 5 centimeters. Now what quadrangles does and uh, intermediate points to subdivided does it just adds some more sophisticated particles onto the text later on in the tutorial. Now, go ahead and add a Motex poly effect and change, drag it as a child of the Motex. Now, any tutorials that you're watching and they say drag an object as a child of any other object, it just means click on the click and hold and drag it with the arrow pointing down as you can see on my screen and let go. It just makes it a child of any object you have in your panel. Today I'm just going to drag a poly effect onto my Motex. And with the poly effect selected, go up to MoGraph Effector Random. Now go to Poly Effect, and go to Transform, and under the S factor, change X, Y, and Z to 0. Now to scroll through your X, Y, and Z, just click on the first one, outline it, 0, Click on your tab button, zero, tab zero. That just makes it, your life a lot easier to scroll through those really fast. Go to fall off and change the shape to linear. Now you guys can already see we have a pretty nice effect going on right here. But go ahead and change the orientation to minus X, the fall off to 100%. And on this little spine graph right here, right click and click square. Now if you guys have Cinema 40 R12 13, you guys can go ahead and right click Cinema 40 R12 tags and click on square but anyways guys go up to random go to parameter and change under the P factor X Y and Z to 100 centimeters again with the tab you guys can go through that really fast now what you guys can do is change all this to 5000 if you want or 500 and have the particles coming from God knows where it's a pretty cool effect I think 100 suits my name the best well, it would suit anyone's three-letter name the best, but that's just my own personal opinion. You guys can use that on whatever you want. I know the guy I helped with, Alchemist, it turned out really nice with a 100. But anyways, guys, this is my first ever Cinema 40 R12 tutorial. Now, what you guys can do now is add a floor. Go to parameter, well, chord, actually. And now do the S factor, X, Y, and Z to just a bunch of random nines. This just fills up the whole floor. Now, I'm just going to add a light. Drag it up. I'm going to rotate the camera a little bit and drag it in front of the text to the left. I'm going to go ahead and add another light and drag it out. 
and drag it a little bit to the right and up. There we go. Now both these lights, you can go ahead and go to general and change the shadow to shadow map soft. Shadow map soft. And under your render settings, you guys can go to effect, ambient inclusion, effect global illumination. And change IRL still image to IRL QMC. It actually really does not matter. I'm going to leave it at IRL still image. And under Iridian's catchy, change medium to low. Medium to low. And exit out of that. Actually, under running settings, under output, you can change the width and height to 1280 by 720. That's just YouTube render settings. And you guys can go ahead and go to QuickTime Movie and save it as whatever you want. I'm just going to leave that alone for now. And on output, from frame range, you guys can change it to all frames. I'm actually going to show you how to animate this real fast. What you guys can do is zoom in here so you guys can actually see something. Change the camera angle real fast. Now, if you drag the poly effect, make sure the poly effect is selected to where you cannot see the text anymore. And keyframe it by pressing the slow key at zero frames. And then I gotta scroll out here real fast. I just kind of dragged it out of my view. And you drag it to where you can see the text now. And keyframe it once again. Well, actually, undo that and drag the little green box to 90. And then drag it where you can see it. And you keyframe it once again. And then if I zoom in, and now if I drag this green box back and forth, you can see it dispersed the text or it brings it in. Now what you can also do is you can add a material. Now what I'm gonna have is a little material pack for you guys. Um, I actually really think you guys can make this big modeling project and everything, but the Material, if you don't really have that good of a material, pretty much, one, it's not eye-catching. Two, it really could bring down your self-satisfaction to your picture. And three, guys, it just really does not look like your best work. So, if you guys want to use this material pack for whatever you want, you guys can. Oh, uh, I gotta go find it real fast. There we go. Eh, it's just a bunch of random materials. I will actually go over materials in my next tutorial. Probably a part one and part two on how to add textures, gradients, and all that cool stuff. I'm going to go ahead and add a turquoise blue onto my Motex. Maybe scroll down and add a black. Put the turquoise blue as the first one. And under selection, under tag, change it to C1. Make sure the C is in capitalized. Now you can see, you can also see that the rust on the front of the text, you guys can see the blue turquoise and the black. Now if I render out, it's a pretty nice effect. Global illumination does take my computer a little time to render out, so you guys could just stay with me here. And as you guys can see, Gloom Illumination has added these nice shadows, plus the lights that we made. I'm not going to take all you guys up time for letting my stupid computer render out my text. But anyways, what you can do now is if you do not make like a save path, you guys can go ahead and save it to whatever you would like. Um, I guess I could save it as Tutorial. Or you guys could save it as your name and particle effect. And if you click this render button, it'll start rendering it out. It takes a little bit of time. It's 90 frames, so you guys get, have to wait for 90 frames. My computer takes about 2 or 3 hours to render out just 90 frames. If you guys got a faster computer than I do, 
I got like two gigabytes of RAM, so if you got like four gigabytes of RAM, it'll probably take an hour and a half or an hour. If you guys got four, six gigabytes of RAM, it'll probably take like a half hour and eight gigabytes of RAM. Congratulations, it's done in like ten minutes. So, anyways, guys, just gonna close out this because I don't need to render. Hopefully, you guys had fun in this tutorial. This is a intro effect. What I will be doing is making tutorials on intro effects because I don't really want to make a tutorial on an intro because if I do, no one really wants to wants wants to watch that tutorial because everyone will have the same intro and it's kind of downward spiral effect on making an intro. So. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching my first ever Cinema 40 hour tutorial. And I wanted to give out a shout out to Team Flux for getting their partnership. Anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace.